Hello YouTube viewers and random Monsters University fans. Now, to celebrate the UK release of the movie this Friday, today I will be taking a look at this, which is the Disney Store Sully figure. And a quick shout out to Vicky from the Disney Store Belfast for selling it to me. <laughs> so here it is in its packaging. It's big and shows off the figure well, but unfortunately offers no protection as the toy is completely exposed. At the bottom we have the Monsters University logo with Sully written beneath it, while on one side we have the Disney Store logo, and on the other there's some information on a Try Me option. At the top, a student ID card for Sully has been included included as a nice little accessory. There's an age rating of 3 years and up, and this figure is new, just in case you were wondering. On the sides and bottom, there's nothing going on, while the back offers a larger image of the toy, along with some of the other figures in the range, and some legal garb below. So that does it for the box, let's move on and take a look at the toy itself. Okay, so here we have Sully, and the figure looks pretty good. The face sculpt is nice and really looks like the character. You can see two grey ridged horns on either side of his head. Some eyebrows are visible over his eyes, while his nose and mouth are alright, except for this panel below his jaw, which is quite distracting. The rest of the body looks great. It's the same colour as in the movie, and even contains some of those purple blotches. It is made of hard plastic, but this soft outer layer of material has been added to give the impression of Sully's fur. On the back of the arms there are three ridges, while his hands contain three fingers and a thumb with some pointy grey claws at each tip. Taking a look at the back, there are three things that I hate on toys. Obvious screw holes, battery compartments and legal garb. The back of this toy is covered in one of those screw holes. But I can live with them. Some on his actual torso have been blocked up, so I wish they'd done the same to the rest of the figure. Running down his back and along his tail, you can make out these grey plastic spines which, just like his claws, are very sharp and can provide a hazard for younger children. His feet end with detailing of three toes which contain three grey claws, but these are softer and less pointy than the ones on his hands and back. Underneath you can see his wide flat feet and tail, which makes him the ideal character to have up on display as he's well supported and won't fall over. But of course, we get the standard legal garb. So overall for detail, it's very nice. Turning to articulation, the head is stationary, even though it looks as though it could turn. The arms can spin through 360 degrees at the shoulder, while there's a 45 degree bend at the elbow, and a full 360 on the wrist. There is no articulation on the legs at all, but the tail can spin through a full 360. So overall for articulation, it's pretty poor, meaning there's a limited amount of poses you can put it into when on display. When it comes to features, I'm a little lost here. On the packaging it says that when Sully's lower leg is pressed, his arms will raise up and his mouth will open into a scary pose. However, when I try that, this happens. Now, I don't know whether all of the toys have this issue, or if I just picked up a faulty version, but this is very disappointing. I've discovered that posing him in a scurry position, then pressing his leg, will cause him to return to a more relaxed pose. So, in a way, it kind of works, but in reverse. I would have liked to have seen some electronics in there, though. Just something basic, so when his leg is pressed in and his mouth opens, maybe we could have heard Sully's roar. As far as accessories go, the figure comes with Sully's University ID card. It's made from thin cardboard and is very basic, so we have Sully's picture with Monsters University written beside it, when it's valid from and to, his name, what he's majoring in, and his signature. Each of the figures in this range gets its own ID card, which allows kids to collect them, along with the toy itself, and is a very cute idea. On the back we get a little bit of info on the character. Sully has always had scaring come naturally to him. He was great at it from his first attempt, and it's been smooth sailing ever since. Isn't that nice? And then below that, we get the same thing written in a million different languages. Doing a size comparison, Sully fits in well with some of the other figures in the range, such as this Mike Wazowski figure. Sully doesn't look too out of place next to him, plus Mike's store accessory makes this a very nice set to have up on display if you're a fan of the movie. So, overall, what do I think of this toy? Well, it's okay. The detail is great, and I like how the figure has been coated in this soft material to evoke the character's fur. But the fact that this fur design hasn't been applied to his moving jaw gives a jarring effect to its overall appearance. And of course, the various screw holes don't help it either. Looking at it, I feel as though it could have used something to separate it from the design of the Monsters Inc. Sully toy. Perhaps he should have been wearing a Monsters University jacket or something. But having said that, I guess it's a plus that this can be used as a Monsters University or as a Monsters Inc. version of Sully. 
The articulation is very basic. At best, I would have liked to have seen some head and leg articulation. The special feature is a big letdown. As I said before, I'm not sure if I just got a faulty version or if they're all like this, but even still, its feature is a little weak, and I do think that the inclusion of some sound effects would have made it much stronger. However, the inclusion of the student ID card is a nice touch, and thanks to its wide feet and tail, the toy supports itself very well, and with his arms extended and mouth open, he doesn't look too bad when on display, especially when placed next to some of the other Monsters University toys. Kids will no doubt get a kick out of it during playtime, but for collectors, I'd recommend it only if you really, 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 really love the movie. Otherwise, give it a miss. So that does it for this review. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there are countless more reviews online. Thank you again for watching, and remember to keep following the nerd. Goodbye.